Hello everybody. Welcome back to the channel. I'm a tractor. Anyways, I'm tackling something now that I've been putting off for a while just because I didn't know the uh, best way to go about it. Uh, last video I shot, which I haven't posted yet, I uh, was going to build a little old stand for that motor over yonder, that boat motor, just something to hold it. Get it off the ground, maybe I can get it running. I'll get it on no boat I have. And all the power went out, so we're sitting here in the dark, except for good old sunlight. We got 15, 20, 25 mile an hour winds today, and I imagine a limb done fell on a tree somewhere. But anyway, so I had a little time on my hands, and I figured I'd try to tackle putting the wheel weights on without mashing the finger off. So here's what I come up with. I got this little old uh, lift hand truck I had for a while. I used to pick up transmissions. I, I used to work on transmissions for a long, long time. I ended up uh, doing something else. I'll tell you my life story when I, when I, when I got 30 minutes to bore you to sleep. But anyway, so I got my wheel set correct. I got the weight sitting on this thing. Put me some long bolts in it, put some washers and a piece of plate under it to kind of hold it up square. So I'm going to raise it up, I'll turn around sideways, raise it up, and see if I can't get a couple of bolts on there, get them in the top, and then I can lift the jack down and get them in the bottom. Hopefully this will work, but anyways, I figured I'd shoot a little video of it, and we'll just see what happens. I'm on. I just have to shoot little portions of it and sew them all together. I ain't got nobody to hold a camera for me. But anyway, so here we go. Let's see what happens. All right, that's as close as I can get it with this setup. I gotta come up with a plan B. I, I'm definitely not gonna go over and get the blowtorch and start cutting my uh, lift off to get it where I go up inside that wheel well. Could maybe find some long bolts. Might make me some kind of plate extension to go on here. I don't know. Let me think about this a while and we'll see what I come up with. All right. well, after a little more thought, this is what I come up with. I can't really complete it because the power's out and I really could use the welder, but I think this is what I'll end up doing. I'm going to take me a piece of angle iron, about the same width as this thing, and I will weld these bolts. Uh, I'll probably end up maybe drilling it and welding to the top of them or something where it'll sit flat or, or maybe maybe put it on a flat plate or something. But that seems to work. I think I could probably use it on this jack and I could probably even maybe make an adapter to put it on a floor jack. All the floor jack don't carry a lot of weight to countermounts it. But the idea is to get where I can get this thing on there without mashing fingers. Let's see, back this thing up a little bit. I'm gonna run this half inch extension in here. And I'm gonna see, I know I can get it in there. I just uh, raise up a little bit. So it's really kind of big and hold the camera at the same time. Uh, I see that I'm going to have to set the camera down to do this. There you go. Then, then I kind of got a little dial to it will help me. So let me see if I can uh, get two bolts in the top. And then I can ease it down and get the bottom bolts in. And maybe I've made it where I can take these weights on and off without feeling like I'm going to mash a finger off into my hand. As I promise you, 
you make your finger between that weight and anything, you gonna you gonna you gonna need a new finger. That's gonna hurt. You gonna say some things that you wouldn't normally say. And anyways, let me get a bolt or two in this thing. I'll finish this little old tool up and see if I can make it a little smoother for the other side. Alright, I am feeling good about this whole thing now. So, that's somewhat what my tool's gonna look like when I get that thing made. A little bit of piece of plate with two metal rods sticking out. I got these top two in. And I am so happy. I think maybe I took the fear out of handling these things because I, I know I haven't got enough muscle to pick it up and do anything with it. Oh, I can grunt, get it off the ground. That's about it. I knew there was no way. I first off wouldn't have picked it up with one hand. But I might have me a little old deal right there. I'll, uh, that's what I'll do. I'll, I'll, I'll line them two pins up on that plate. I'll make it at least the same length as this thing where it'll be sitting flat on it. I just had to put them over the top of bolts to hold them down. Ideally, when I get done, I, maybe I can even use it on that one, or I could even put some kind of pin in the middle of it and use it on a floor jack, but I, I imagine on a floor jack, the counterbalance would be a little bit off. You, you might have a little issue with the balance side of it. This thing here is fairly heavy. It ain't nothing too serious. It could have easily tipped over, but it didn't, so I'm feeling real good about how to handle these weights. I hope that helps somebody. I know I wished I'd seen the video at one time, because I didn't know how I was going to get them on there. All right, we'll, uh, we'll talk to you later. Well, there you go. I made putting my wheel lights on safe. And on both sides, worked out just fine. Hey, one other addition, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you. I'm kind of proud of this addition. Put a lot of thought into it. I put me a cup holder on my tractor. There you go. Everybody needs a cup holder, don't they? And there we go. I thought I'd show off my fancy cup holder. That comes in kind of handy right there. No matter whether I got a small cup or a big cup. It just works. Well, anyways, I think I'm gonna name this video trying to figure out a way not to mash your fingers. So, anyways, like and share. Maybe you get a good laugh out of it. Chuckle anyways. And uh, we'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.